Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to flash OpenWRT on the Cisco Meraki MR18. Um, it is worth noting that the current method I'm going to show you will only work on the original stock firmware, which is build 123302. Um, but if you got that, then you should be good to go. Um, otherwise, sit back and relax. Um, there may be another method in the works, but I can't confirm anything yet. Um, but with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, to do this, the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to set your local computer to have a static IP of 192.168.1.2 uh, because during this entire process, the device is going to have an IP of 192.168.1.1. Um, you'll also want to get a copy of the firmware files, which you'll be able to get from the repo uh, that will be posted in the thread. So from here, you can then just go to the release page and download the tar, which contains all of the files you need. Um, I've already done this here. So as you can see, we have an internet RAMFS build, the kernel, the rootfs, and then the uh, sys, uh, sys upgrade file. Um, for flashing the device, we're actually only going to need the init RAMFS and the sys upgrade, and we'll cover that later. Um, but to start, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the name of this file because I'm going to need it later, and that way I have it in my paste. But first, you'll want to start up a screen um, on the device. So here you can see we have UART with the Meraki shell. So what you'll want to do actually is you'll want to pull power from the device so it's completely off, hold S on your keyboard, and then plug in power. And as you do so, during the boot here, it should drop you to a root shell. So here we have a nice root prompt. Uh, the only thing is right now we're in the init RAM FS of the system. We're not actually in the uh, root FS. So from here, we're going to need to bootstrap the file system. So for this, in the thread, I will post the instructions, but you'll want to copy in a script that'll handle this for us. So to do that, you'll first want to echo into a file. So we're going to cat into a root file, and then copy the contents of the script, paste it, and then Control-C. That'll then save your changes. Um, at this point, you'll then want to hook up networking on the MR18, so it's hooked up to your desktop uh, by Ethernet. And then you'll want to chmod the file so it's executable, and then you're going to want to run it. So this now is networked, and we have access to the file system, so all the good stuff. So now we're going to want to download the images and flash them. So to download them, we're actually going to use a web server, because in this current state, uh, we do not have BusyBox or SSH or Telnet or any of that running. So the easiest way to do this then will just be to run a little HTTP server. Now, I'm a Python person myself, so I'm just going to run a Python listener quick. So Python 3.4-m HTTP server 8000. So this will then start a web server within this folder, allowing me to copy all the files over. Um, from here then, on the box, I'll just want to wget HTTP 192.168. Uh, so the IP and port of my local system, and then the file the file I copied earlier that I forgot. So open WRT and around my fest up in. Oh, before you download, make sure you're in storage. Then you can wget. So now we have the actual init RAMFS build on the device. So from here, it gets really easy. The next step is we actually need to flash that to our flash partition or to the part two partition. So you want to dd it, dd if equal dot slash the file of dev mtd block 2. Now you want to make sure you do this to block 2. If you do it to any of, the, uh, any of the other blocks, you may potentially brick your device. So to be safe, make sure you do this to block 2. Okay. So now we have an init RAMFS build flashed to one of the kernel partitions. So now we're going to boot this. So to do this, you're actually going to want to pull power from the board, which I'm going to do now. And then you're going to want to hold 2 down on your keyboard instead of S. So when you hold down 2, it'll tell the bootloader to boot the other partition. So I'm holding down 2, I'll plug in power. And here it's actually booting up the init RAMFS build of OpenWRT. So I'll give it a minute here to boot. So here you can see we got OpenWRT and their Ethernet came online. So the final real step of getting OpenWRT on this device is actually flashing it through sysupgrade. Um, this is because when you flash through sysupgrade, what it does is it will set up the root partition, uh, the root FS data, 
and it'll also fix up Cal data in case there's any issues with it with the stock Meraki firmware to ensure wireless works. Um, so to do this, then you just go to 192.168.1.1, which should now be running a Lucy interface. Uh, log in without a password, and you literally just go to system, oh, system, backup flash firmware. Uh, you can uncheck keep settings because you're running in a RAMFS, and from here you'll then want to go to the download folder, and then download, or select the sys upgrade, and press flash. And then once you're here, just press proceed, wait for it to reboot. And uh, that's it. From here, you now have a Meraki MR18 fully running OpenWRT, and you should be good to go. Um, it is also worth noting that you can remove the stock firmware from the NAND as the rootfs is still in the file system, um, but that won't be covered in this tutorial. So uh, go ahead and enjoy. And just to confirm, once Ethernet comes online. There we go.